West Point trains soldiers for combat. But a different kind of battle is now being fought by those outside the academy gates. The Highland Falls Fort Montgomery School Board is currently defying Albany by choosing not to meet a state deadline for adopting a proposed budget. Members of the local community action group say deep cuts in state funding and federal impact aid in a school district with only 7% taxable property leaves them in a precarious position. That is one of our, our biggest battles, is proving time and time again how unique we are, how different we are. And, and it is a rough, rough battle, especially when the economy is in such a, a sad state right now and everybody's struggling. Um, but we're struggling double, if not triple. Residents here are facing another double-digit tax hike as well as school employee layoffs and the closing of Highland Falls Elementary School. Community group members say it all boils down to broken financial promises that were made in Albany and Washington. And they promised to make good on, you know, the tax that they would owe this community for taking the land. And they're not making good on it. We, we and you're, you're no different than we are. And then when you, you know, go to your state and federal representatives and, you know, all you hear is, you know, economic hardships and, um, you know, other school districts and difficulty, it's not a message I want to hear. And those in this scenic Hudson Valley community want to make it clear that their fight isn't with the neighboring military academy. West Point mom, Debbie Gerber, says that's because everyone has a stake in the outcome. If, if they're crushed by this, um, then West Point's not going to be a very pleasant place to live either. So I got involved because, and, and I do have children in the school, and I want to see the school have the things that are going to help the kids succeed. We're a very unique district. About a hundred school district residents took the protest to the state capitol recently where they found themselves in the crossfire of partisan budget bickering. That's one of the reasons why the Community Action Group stands behind the school board's act of defiance even if it brings repercussions. And we will fight to the end when they come down to try to replace our school board because they're doing the wishes of the public that were there. I mean, if Albany thinks they had 100 people standing there, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have about 5,000 standing there if they come down and attempt to do anything with our school board. If the state does take action against the Highland Falls Fort Montgomery district, it won't happen until at least June. No matter what happens, residents say the law-breaking decision is a risk worth taking. Now, I don't advocate breaking any law, but sometimes you have to do things uh, that uh, make things right. In Highland Falls, Tracy Baxter, Record Online.